Shane, you, you've had time to reflect on well, it was sheer madness, wasn't it? What are your thoughts now you look back on it? Um, proud, extremely happy, probably one of the best days of my life, never mind my career. Um, to do what we did, sort of back end the season and, and end it the way we did and come back to the reception we got here was phenomenal and something that will live along with me. We've talked about the interview we did um, kind of at the start of the run a, a few times now and always believed at that time that there was still a chance we could do something but yeah nine wins in a row at some stage that never quite looked realistic yeah i'm a, i'm a very optimistic person but um i didn't think when i said this is a nine game mini league and we need to finish top of it and we'd go on and win eight and draw one <laughs> and then go and win the, the three playoff games but listen this just shows what belief can do you know um I believe what I was saying in that interview and um, I know a couple of lads said to me after that they watched it and they were on board with it and um, I think just as, as a club, community, fans, players, staff, we all came together and, and things just started to go really, really right for us and sort of seen us over the line. And by the end of that run, of the nine, really, with respect to all of the oppositions, in different ways, we were very comfortable in all the games, weren't we? I never felt like we were going to lose, to be honest. Um, when we made playoffs and we went to Alfton, I just I, I just didn't feel like the season was over. And then again at, at Kingsley, I just felt like the, the season's not done today. And yeah, you, you look at all of them, you know, there's a couple of one 0 wins in there, but never really tested any of them. We played some some teams on very good form. Some we played the league champions, didn't we? We played the team that came second. We played some really really tough teams. And if you'd have looked at that, those nine games at the start of the season, and you said you've got to win all nine nine of them, you'd probably say nah, no chance to do it at the end of the season when. Basically, they were all playoff games because if we dropped one point in any of those mm. games, the season was done for us. So, yeah, incredible. And for you particularly, given your recent history with the playoffs and especially with, with Brackley and Boston, with whom you came here, obviously, was there a moment at which you thought, I, I think we're going to do this? Um, I don't think there was any said moment. I think... Um, no. You, Did you allow yourself to think that? No. Um, no, I won't like the lead up to the Brackley game is probably the most nervous I've, I've ever been in my football career. Um, just because I knew how close we were and I knew sort of like the, the run of form we were on and um, so is there going to be one game where it's it's not going to go our way and then I think to be honest once once Hemo scored that first goal we bled in every of the games we've we've won these last nine games so once Hemo scored that goal I thought here we go because that's the, the I've played in two playoff finals for that and the team's not, the team I played for hasn't, hasn't scored a goal so one time I scored, I thought, I can't see anybody scoring against us. And, and that was sort of the moment where I thought, right, if, we're, if we stay on this for the next half an hour and manage the game well, I think probably it's going to be our time. But never never before that, to be honest. It was just about focusing and ticking each game off as they came. Right. And as enjoyable as it was last season, promoted, done that now, and the focus is, is very much on, on a new season and, and new challenges. Yeah, yeah. N new league, uh, new challenges for all of us. Um, club firmly back where we all think it belongs. So... Um, exciting season ahead and sort of we'll enjoy the promotion and everything we've done sort of this season but come 28th of June when we're back in this season's gone and um, it's full focus for life in the National League. Was there any doubt for you that you'd, you'd re-sign? Absolutely no doubt, absolutely no doubt. It was the only place I wanted to stay, especially after promotion, everything, everything the scenes that happened, the away support and the home support we've received all year. Um, I've really, really loved it here, and yeah, was, there was no doubt. I've not even thought about speaking to any other club. It was all about coming here. And to be fair, Gaffer was ringing me. I said, "You ain't got to worry about me." I said, "Deal with other players first, and then give me a call in a couple of days, and, and we'll get it sorted." Yeah, and talk about the new challenges. The national league is very different than the last time Kidderminster were in it, but we can all kind of enjoy that journey together, can't we? Definitely, it's a new experience for us all, and um, I think you've, we've we've had a stay in the National League North for, for long enough, and it's about um, it's about becoming a mainstay in, in the National League. And so we're not there to make up the numbers; we're there to, to give a really good account of ourselves and the community. And um, yeah, we're gonna have the right galler. It's about being balanced, isn't it? I mean, we're not giddy enough to say that we're gonna go and storm that league and, and win it straight away. But equally, as you say, we're there to be competitive and, and to maybe try and surprise a few, possibly. Yeah, 100. percent That's it. the main objective. Of like any team who gets promoted will be to, to stay in the league, of course. But we're aiming higher than that. And our first thought will be winning our first game on the 6th of August. Yeah, season tickets are, are about to go on sale. Uh, Harry's fans have got their captain for another season. A few other big names tied up as well. Lots of reasons to, to, to join back in, so to speak. Yeah, the, the home support here. I know we spoke about it a lot, how, how poor our home form was last season, but um, the home support never wavered. It was fantastic. And more again the next season, you know, um, 
really, really helped us over the line, the support we got towards the back end of the season, um, especially those away fans who came to Kings Lynn, Alverton, <laughs> Brackley when they could and when they turned up here. So, yeah, uh, employ you to get your season tickets, come down, cheers on the National League, because we're going we're gonna to need your help. Yeah, in all seriousness, the away form was sensational last year, but the home form does have to be better, doesn't it? We'll improve there. Listen, I'll take the home form that we ended the season with, because who came here? Buxton, Kettering, Telford's, what? Seven goals or something in those in those three games, and yeah, if we can continue that away form and even slightly improve the home form from last season, being improved. But now, listen, this is going to be a tough place to come next year, and we've got to make it as as a club, players, fans. We've got to make it as a, as a tough place to come.